several affairs. Several? Hey, what is up, society? It is your favorite wannabe influencer and sovereign coin. Welcome back to another Reddit story video, baby. I know that you read that title series. Now we're getting back into these relationship Reddit stories, and we're gonna be seeing if us ladies are the problem once again. But we already know that we're not because we're always right. But anywho, <laughs> I'm not gonna hold us on for too long here. Let's just get right into the video. First story. My new girlfriend's genitalia smells, and I have no clue what to do. Oh. Child, no ma'am. I hope it's not Jack little sister. Y'all remember that story, Mr. Jackie Pooh? Let's get into it. My girlfriend, 18 female, and I, 19 male, have been dating for just over a month. And we recently became more sexually active. Initially, everything seemed fine. And she tasted good when I first started going down on her. However, things changed during a recent Airbnb stay. I honestly heard, you know, for the, for the vacations, you're supposed to be... You know what I'm saying? Extra, extra, extra fresh. You on vacation. Like, okay. Continue. Things changed during the recent Airbnb stay. When I went to perform oral, I noticed a much stronger smell and taste, which I pushed through, but it was definitely different and unpleasant. Later, while jokingly practicing missionary, I noticed a strong smell coming from her. I was a good four feet above her and was able to smell it as it aerated the room. Mm. Oh no, no ma'am. Uh, a mix of musky, sweet, and fishy that I've never experienced before. Then, later on, I noticed a couple of tiny flakes of... No! <laughs> no! 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 I'm sorry! No! I'm sorry! Prepare yourself for something dreadful. Oh my god! Then later on, I noticed a couple of tiny flakes of poop on her anus when I removed her panties. Oh my God. And even more the day after she showered. What? There were more flakes, which put me off for trying to eat her, you know what I'm saying? Her back door. Something I've never done before. Right now, as I'm typing this, I'm at my grandma's and I smoke this raw lobster that is soon to be cooked. I realize it smells identical to my girlfriend's vagina. <laughs> it's somewhat concerning. I've been with other women and never encountered this, so I'm not sure how to bring this up without hurting her. Listen, okay, listen. Okay, if she a thicker girl, Sometimes we have days, okay? If you if you catching me fresh off work, okay, we thick girls, okay? Sometimes we got a little sweat going on, okay? But you know men is nasty, so sometimes they be wanting to just take you as is, which I don't understand what's going on with that. But Dookie Flakes is wild. Dookie Flakes is wild. I'm so sorry. <laughs> little turf, baby feces flakes, if you will. Ah! Oh my God. I know, listen, I understand that sometimes we slip up. I know sometimes we get busy. I know sometimes it can be mental stuff. I know, I know sometimes, you know, we're human beings. We have organic buildup sometimes. But after the shower is wild, after the shower is wild, you over here frosting flaking everywhere. After the shower is wild. <laughs> Yo, oh my God. Uh, give some advice, Koi. Um, <laughs> there's nothing that you can say that's not gonna hurt her. She's gonna be mortified, but you gotta tell her that she's flaking everywhere. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Be serious, Koi. Be serious. You just gotta outright tell her, like, babe. You know, I was licking, I was licking, I was looking to, you know, you know what I'm saying, go Munchiana. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know what to say. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let me be serious. Let me be serious. You just have to tell her outright for real. Like, you really just have to go up to her and say, babe, you know, we were looking to get into the nasty. And, you know, I was trying to get a little freaky, you know, trying to do your back door and whatnot. And when I went back there, I realized there was a little mud. 
I'm sorry. Uh, oh my god. Uh, she's gonna be mortified regardless, y'all. You just gotta come in and, and be soft with her. You just basically gotta be like, babe, you know, we were trying to do a little bit extra with our, you know, fun time, and I noticed that. There were some things that was not looking very pleasant. Like, you know, and I'm not trying to come off nasty or mean or anything like that. I just wanted to both have a good hygienic experience. And it just feels like, well, not feels like I witnessed something that made me uncomfortable. And I just wanted to talk about it. Like, you know, are you going through a midlife crisis? Are you okay mentally? And, you know, maybe ask her if she actually watched that thing. Because, you know, there's some people out here, you know what I'm saying? Certain communities of people out here who don't use washcloths certain genders of people out here who believe washing their rectum is gay so you know hopefully she's doing that but by the sounds of it it doesn't sound like she is so i mean you gonna have to just outright ask her like babe do you wash back there you know do you do you do that it could literally just be like just her but it could not even be her you know area because you know they're in the same place so it's like you know, if you're saying you're seeing it in her underwear and you haven't had the dishes before, I don't know. Maybe she just had an off day. I don't really know. But nipping it in the bud as soon as possible is going to be your best option. It's going to be an awkward conversation. It's going to be really gross and you're not going to want to do it. And it's going to kind of hurt her feelings at the same time. Do you want to do it with Dookie Booty the rest of your relationship? I didn't think so. So, yeah. And especially if you're trying to give her pleasure in all places too. Like you're trying to, you know, eat her back door out, you know. You know trying to eat like groceries stuff like that so you gotta go ahead and you know you know let her know come on come on girlfriend don't be like jack this is not jack in jail you know what i'm saying go ahead and, and watch that so just come to her gently it's gonna be a difficult weird conversation from the very beginning because it's like who wants to be told that they're smelling weird you know what i'm saying but i feel like if you just come from a kind heart and let her know that you're really just here for her and not trying to be weird or anything then i feel like that she will take heed to it but you don't want to deal with that for the rest of your relationship you know and you know start off with saying babe you know i really enjoy us having our fun time together i would love for our spicy time to be a little bit more better and i want it to continue to be great but you have to fix this issue first. And once you fix that issue, we can continue because I'm trying to spice it up some more, babe. I'm trying to add a little bit more habanero. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really trying to do a little bit more for you. And so if you need help, let me know. But, like, I'm not bashing you. I'm not upset with you. I just want the issue to be resolved. So if there's any way that I can support you, let me know. But I just want our relationship to be a little bit better. And that's something that we're going to have to do. Um, but also, that's a good time to check up on her mentally. Maybe she's not, you know, bathing her so correctly because she's not mentally all there or something. Who knows? So yeah so i have a conversation regardless but come in gently be respectful you know just let her know that your end goal is to make y'all spicy life a little bit better and you know hygienic but yeah there's a couple things up below moving on am i the asshole for glowing up after my divorce and not before baby you single what do i gotta do with anybody else because anyway i 53 female have been divorced from my ex-husband larry 54 male for six years Larry and I have two adult children, Steve, 27 male, and Carla, 25 female. Larry and I met in college. We were both electrical engineering students. We were both very much on the nerdy side and looked the part, but we were very attracted to each other. So I thought anyway. We got married soon after we graduated and both worked as engineers. But after a few years, Larry decided he wanted to go to law school to become a patent lawyer. In order to look the lawyer part, Larry underwent a major glory during this time on pretty much all levels. Tailored clothes, fancy haircuts, designer accessories like watches, etc along with working out to trade out his dad bod for a lean gym bod. Okay, we must think he Wolf of Wall Street or something. But anyway, during this time, I was having slash raising our small children while taking care of about 95% of the household matters because of his long working hours, all while working full time. Okay, so what, you were working full time? Okay, so what if he got long hours? You got long hours too. You still got kids, hello? So anyway, I admit, I did not glow up along with Larry. <sighs> My own appearance has always been on the plainer side. Okay. I'm not overweight, but a bit stocky. 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> five, five and 140 pounds. Now, friend. Baby, if that's stocky, baby, put me on my 600 pound life right now. I'm talking about immediately, express shipping. Put me on my 600 pound life. I need to meet the Indian doctor. 
Girl, baby. And so the fuck what? I don't understand why people be making it seem like just because you a bigger person, you can't be a bad bitch. Hello? Yeah, I'm plugging my Instagram in is. Let's not do that one. Because you could definitely still be a bad. Continue. 5'5", five, five, 140 pounds. Simple cut hair, glasses, practical clothing, not much makeup. Once again. Once again. Why is people always trying to hate on the plain James? I'm not saying that she is, but like... What do you need a glow up for, Buki? 140 pounds, okay. Glasses, okay. You can still be a baddie. What are you talking about? No makeup, uh, you can still be a baddie. What are you talking about? Let's not let's stop pushing this rhetoric, ladies. Let's stop pushing this rhetoric. We're baddies. You like and you don't think about it like this, right? If you need to put a lump sum of makeup and glue fabric to your fucking head in order for you to be beautiful or style your hair in a certain type of way in order to be beautiful. I'm not coming at any certain demographic of people. I'm just saying, if you have to go the extra mile to make your, dress yourself up to be beautiful, are you really beautiful for real? Because when you take all that off, that's you. So, okay. Because anyway, Larry loved me as is for about the first decade of our relationship. But after he started working as a lawyer, he started to become drawn to more conventionally attractive women and had several affairs. <laughs> several? You mean more than one? More than two? More than three? Several? Several affairs. When I pressed for counseling, he said that the issues were things like my big nose and post-baby tummy pouch. Not things that I could fix with a simple makeover. Okay. Okay, I'm calm. <laughs> I am calm. We're all calm. We're all calm. For now. I was getting organized to ask for a divorce when Carla got hit by a car while riding her bike. Dang. She survived and is fine now, but needed several years of intensive surgeries and rehab. In order to provide a unified front for Carla and Steve, Larry and I agreed to stay married and be as cordial as possible. He continued to see other women during this time. By this time, I was past trying to get him to be faithful. We did separate and divorce after Carla went off to college. Larry is remarried now to a much younger woman, 33 female. Girl. Girl. In the past couple of years, I've actually decided to focus more on myself, including my appearance. Now that my children are grown and out of the house, and I don't have to worry about tiptoeing around a difficult husband, I finally have time and the resources to do so. I didn't get a nose job or plastic surgery like Larry wanted. But I did update and color my hair, start working out more. I lost about 15 pounds, got a new wardrobe, and actually started dating. I don't have a steady partner yet, but regularly go to age-appropriate single events and go on dates. Period. My girl's out there getting her fun time. Hello? Unfortunately, my children detest the new me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who asked you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The fuck? You make give a damn what the hell you got to say? I'm a bad bitch. Need your permission to be me? Continuing. In particular, they blame me for the divorce and are angry that I didn't glow up to accommodate Larry, saying I was too selfish and lazy to do so when it mattered. <laughs> Woo! This is the type of stuff right here that makes me want to question if I ever want to be a mother. Okay, that's why I'm really on the 80-20 if I ever want to have kids, because baby. Baby, I will be damned if a fucking kid tell me the reason why they're insecure, punk ass, raggedy ass, ungrateful ass, boring ass, lame ass, unreliable ass, midlife crisis ass, garbaggio ass, caca ass, trailer trash ass daddy left me. Like he left me because he was vain. Because he didn't understand the concept of love. You bitches over here getting mad at me because I didn't fucking glow up when I was the one raising the fuck out of y'all. Where the fuck was your punk ass daddy at? Out working the fucking hoes. Well, he should have been at home with your ass. Ungrateful little slimy little bastards. Like, you know, with the small children, with the small children, they're easily influenced. Y'all grown. In college. Out the house. And you run your motherfucking mouth after everything I did for you? Your punk ass daddy chose vanity over love. He threw your our family away for vanity. And you're blaming me? 
rather than your punk ass, untrustworthy ass, bottom of the barrel ass daddy? Raggedy ass daddy? Get the fuck out of here. My son Steve is getting married soon and says he's too angry to invite me to the wedding. Carla has gone low contact with me. I had great relationships with both of them until I started my own glow up process a couple of years ago, which was a few years after Larry and I finalized our divorce. Steve and Carla have told me that the only way to fix this, the only thing that would be fair, is to go back to the way I was before. Meaning stop coloring my hair, dress in my former plain frumpy way, and stop dating. They say... <laughs> oh, they say they are most upset about the dating and that it's not fair for me to be looking for a new partner. So am I the asshole for everything that I've done here? For not improving my appearance until after I got divorced? I really don't think Larry would have been faithful to me no matter how much I twisted myself into knots. I felt I did the best I could given the energy and resources I had. And while it may seem selfish, I do believe I deserve my own life now. But I am open to other opinions if I have something wrong here. No, you don't. What? Some ungrateful, slimy, garbage, punk ass fucking kids. Bitch, are you fucking insane? You're gonna cut off contact with your mother. You're gonna not invite her to your wedding, though parent who actually raised you and was there for you because she did not upgrade herself to make your daddy stay. When you motherfuckers, oh my God, are you fucking dumb? That is not how love works. You need to be looking at the daddy. This is what we getting, right? I get it. I get it when you're a kid and you're ignorant and you're immature and you're dumb and you say stupid ass, dumb ass shit. But this is not love. I find it so interesting that y'all are having all the anger and the frustration and the rage with your mother who your father married no problem as she was. Loved her as she was for the first decade of their relationship. Loved her as she was. But the moment he starts to upgrade himself, now all of a sudden he feels better than her and leaves her because of her looks. The same looks. That he married from the very fucking beginning. And you dumb fuckers, you dumb fuckers, you dumb fuckers. For you bitches to sit here and literally look at her as if she's the problem when your dad literally left her because she looked as she always looked. He only got with her because he had low self-esteem. He dated someone that he felt like he couldn't be in competition with. You're mad at her for not changing her appearance so her, your father would give her the bullshit love that she did not fucking deserve. That bullshit, raggedy ass, garbage ass love when she's dedicated her time, money, energy into this relationship and raising y'all with no complaints. Your daddy literally dumbing it down. He chose her because he was insecure and then disregarded her the moment that he gained some confidence and left her for vanity, threw y'all away for vanity. This is blasphemous. This is so fucking ridiculous. I've not, oh my God. And then for y'all to say, you need to go back to the way that you used to look. Bitch, don't worry about it, Buki. Block me on everything. You don't have to worry about me ever again. You don't have to worry about me ever again. You don't have to worry about me ever again. Block me on everything, bitch. Tell people I died. Uh, are you kidding me right now? The only way that's going to make it fair is for you to go back to the way we want you to look because that's the look that made our dad leave you? No, your father's insecurity is what made him leave her. But you blaming her. Your daddy abandoned his family because he wanted her to look better to match his insecurity in midlife crisis. You immature, baffling, ugly, ignorant, stupid little kids. <sighs> OP, congratulations on your glow up and getting your confidence back. You are not the asshole. You are literally a full-time mother, full-time maid, cook, housekeeper, if you will. And you're working a full-time job the past 20-something years. Your children are unfucking grateful Your husband never deserved you. And nobody gets to tell you how to live your fucking life. Cut your children off. Don't even feel bad about it. I know it hurts because you're a mother. 
But the fact that you were able to do all of that stuff, there are people like me, people like there who are working full time jobs and we are tired as hell. Having to keep up with cleaning my house and cooking for myself and keeping my hygiene up and working all that stuff, that shit is tiring. I couldn't imagine having two children and a piece of shit ass husband who's stepping out on me at the same exact time. You are a warrior. And we are proud of you. Cut your fucking kids off because they're toxic as fuck and they do not deserve you. Just like your punk ass ex-husband. None of them deserve you. Not a single one. Okay? And since they think that their father is just so amazing, go ahead and go no contact. Go ahead and leave them kids alone. And then they're going to realize how much of a punk they fucking daddy is. And then they're going to be running back to the only fucking parent who actually gave a shit about them. So, yeah. Um, I'm just, I'm so taken back, y'all. I am so taken back because the fact that you fucking grown ass kids are mad at your mother because she is literally deciding to take care of herself for once in her fucking existence after taking care of y'all and y'all punk ass daddy all this time and not even highlighting that this man was willing to throw y'all away because he went to the gym three times a week. Your daddy was willing to throw y'all away. And the only reason why he did it was because your sister got hit by a car. And y'all are mad at your mother. Bitch. OP, I wish you the best of luck. Congratulations on your goal up, girl. Cut them kids off because they don't deserve you. Moving on. Am I overreacting for wanting a divorce after finding thousands of photos of myself, 33 male, sleeping on my wife's phone, 31 female? Ooh, thousands? I don't know, ma'am. Continuing. My wife and I have been together for 11 years and we have three amazing kids together. We have never had any serious issues. She's a great mother and has been nothing but an amazing partner for all these years. However, the other night, I was looking for a picture of our son on her phone and I found an album called My Name Sleeping with 9,631 photos of myself sleeping over the years. 9,631! She never told me about this or sent me any of the photos. It's just me sleeping in numerous different angles. I can't even believe I'm writing this, but I'm so creeped out and don't know how to move forward. I confronted her about the pictures and she got annoyed that I had her phone and offered no explanation. I feel very violated and I'm uncomfortable sleeping next to her. I feel like I can't be with this person anymore. What should I do? This is weird, right? Or am I overreacting? No, girl, 9,631. Girl, what are you doing? What is you on? What you trying to do? No, P, you, you have every single right to feel creeped out and strange. Like, what is her reason for keeping photos of you? Like, what is up with that? I'm like, I get why you'll be creeped out. I, I'm the only thing is that you've been with her for 11 years. And that, you know, y'all have had a beautiful relationship up to this point. So I just need to know what her reasoning for that is. Like, I get you feeling viol violated. You know, she taking pictures of you without your permission. It's just like, in this, it'll be different if it was just like one or two. I would even take 25. 9,631? Girl, what is you doing with them? Trying to make them a clone or something? Nah, I don't know. Honestly, OP, I would say because y'all been together for so long and y'all have three babies, I think that you're dealing with the shock right now of it all. And that's why you're probably kind of pushing to divorce. But... I don't want to say that I don't think that it's divorce worthy. I just want to say that maybe try counseling. And it's only because the stakes are high. It'll be different if you guys have been together for like two years and y'all don't have any kids. But you've been together with her for over a decade. You have three babies together. Y'all had a beautiful relationship up to this point. So I feel like it is like maybe a conversation. Maybe she's just embarrassed and she's saying weird ass shit because, or not saying anything because she's already embarrassed by the fact that you found the photos. But I think maybe counseling may help or you just for you to calm down and just get like a sound mind first. But you have every single right to feel violated. Um, but I would definitely say sit with it for a bit just because y'all been together for so long and y'all have a family. So it's like the stakes are a little bit higher. I wouldn't want you to make a mistake based off of an impulse because of your initial reaction to the situation. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you try counseling or you sit with yourself and you come to the conclusion that you want a divorce, I mean, you have every single right to do that. You feel violated by what she did and she's not offering any type of communication either. Um, but I would definitely say to talk about counseling or, you know, yeah, I would say counseling. She's not talking to you. I would say counseling and just come to a common ground. But I would say sit with yourself first before you do anything else, because that is strange as hell. 9,631. Girl, what was you doing? This bitch thinks she didn't come to mind or something. 
She damn near got them bitches printed out. What's the pictures, y'all? Them cameras. When they got to take the picture and they got to print it out and then they got to put it in water and then they got to hang it up and it's a big ass red room. What is that? That's damn near what she doing. Check the, check the basement. She maybe got locks your hair and shit too. But uh, yeah, in all seriousness, <laughs> just do what I said before. Um, but right now, sip yourself. I'm sorry this is happening to you and that is very fucking weird. You're not overreacting at all. Y'all drop your opinions down below. Moving on. All right, society, that is it for this freaking video. I hope that you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, because you know that I love to read your beautiful comments and reply. And if you're new, hi, please subscribe to the Beautiful Society. I would love for you to be a part of our beautiful big family. We are growing every single day. And thank you guys so much for 1,700 subscribers. It is so crazy. We are growing so fast. For all my lovely society members, please make sure to hit that bell notification so you're notified every single time that I post. I love you guys very, very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.